Shabbat Shalom from Temple Concord. This week our Torah portion is our first taste of freedom. The tenth plague came and went last week, and this week our people flees out of Egypt. They're first stuck at the, the banks of the Red Sea, and then they cross over the water and are in Sinai and are at least beginning to taste freedom. Two really important pieces come out of that uh, set of events. The first is when the people reach the sea, they don't know what to do. They have no idea what to do. And it's finally Nachshon who jumps into the water, and the water split, and they go, and the people react with song. So there's first fear and trepidation, and then song, and the music brings us together. And then towards the end of the Torah portion, the people are hungry, and they don't know what to do, and they start crying and complaining, and God says, look, I'll provide. And manna starts coming down, and manna is there every day. What do both of those things teach us? I think they teach us the same lesson, that the things that we need to solve our problems, to feel more connected, to, to overcome our anxiety, are out there waiting for us. The question is simply, do we see them and do we embrace them? So at first, the Israelites are afraid, and what they realize is somebody's got to take that first step in. And Nachshon's the one who does that, and in they go. And next thing you know, the water's split, and the people break out in song, and everything is good. So sometimes we need to just have the guts, the courage, to take that first step. And then at the end, mana comes down, and we recognize that God provides for us in lots of different ways. We think we're pursuing this path, and all of a sudden things go sideways, and there's another path, and another one after that, and another one after that. In both cases, our people are learning to have faith, faith in themselves and faith in the Almighty. We need those same lessons today even more than they did then. We need to have faith in our ability to do good, in our ability to come together as a people to solve our problems. And we need to have faith in God that there are multiple paths to success, that there are multiple ways for us to reach the promised land. Our world is filled with lots of problems. Our community has lots of challenges. Even in our own temple family, we have challenges. If we can find the courage that we find at the beginning of the Torah portion and the faith that comes at the end, we will solve all of these issues. None of them are insurmountable, just as they weren't back in the time of the Torah. We have to simply remember that we have to look around, that we have to be willing to take a risk, to stick our neck out. And we have to believe, ultimately, that together we can accomplish anything we set out to accomplish. I hope you'll join us for Shabbat services Friday night, as it is the celebration of music and the Song of the Sea. We have a wonderful musical Shabbat celebrating the memory of Debbie Friedman. So lots of her music Friday evening services will be at 6 o'clock. We have a potluck dinner immediately following, so we hope you'll join us for that and bring something yummy to share. Uh, Saturday morning, we have Torah study at 10, text study at 9, and then services at 11. Saturday evening, the next in our film series continues, our synagogue series. Uh, great movie, Norman, starring Richard Gere, one of our own local boys. Uh, that's at 7.30 Saturday evening. And on Sunday morning, the next in our scholar series, uh, Robert Gant will be here. He writes uh, a wonderful book. He's written a wonderful book about how the Israeli Air Force got going, got off the ground, and how they acquired planes and, and material, and how they were able to help Israel win the War of Independence in 1948. It's a wonderful story of how a ragtag group of former American and, and Canadian and British soldiers and airmen came together and really helped save Israel and get Israel up off the ground. I hope you'll join us Sunday morning. That is at 11 a.m. on Sunday. For now, I hope you'll spend Shabbat and the weekend thinking through how you can be more courageous and how you can enhance your own faith and how together each of us brings our own level of courage and our own level of faith together and as a collective body we increase our strength, we increase our ability to reach the promised land. Shabbat Shalom for now. Look forward to seeing you at the temple.